Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a slideshow page on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you will have to do is create a Shopify store. So all you have to do is go to shopify.com and press on start free trial. And then you can get started with your online e-commerce store. Now, this is the Shopify homepage. So once you create your e-commerce store once you set up like the basic parts this is going to be your actual home page where you can begin managing your shopify store and if you want to create a new product slider or a new slideshow on your shopify store there are two basic ways that you can do it the first way that you know most tech savvy people prefer is that if you click on online store you're gonna go into your themes and from here what you're going to do is you're going to press on actions and from here you're gonna press on edit code now if you're a beginner I would recommend that before you press on edit code you press on duplicate and what this does it makes a copy of the code of your website and then if you mess up anything you can just then you can just paste up the copy that you had and you don't have to worry about it but if you're pretty tech savvy and if you're following this video step by step then I don't think you're going to run into any issues. But do remember that different Shopify themes work differently. So if you're running a different Shopify theme, it might be that you might have some issues with the code that you're going to add. But in most cases, you're just going to click on edit code. And once you press on edit code, what you're going to do is you're going to go and see. So here you have all these sections and here you have the preview. So from here, you can see these are all the sections. Gonna press on templates and add a new template. And choose liquid and name it anything. Type in alternate and then press done. And then you get this empty place where we're gonna fill in the code. Then you put in this code right here and then press on save. Once that is saved, you can go back to the store. So if you press on view over there, what you can do is once you click on view, you can press on edit home page. And then you're going to find your slideshow on your left over here very soon. So once you're in here, you see these different sections here. We're going to go and add section and then you can find your slideshow over here. You press like that. And just like that, I have added the image slideshow. So this is how easy it is to add an image slide. Now once you have added the slideshow section, you're going to click on image slide. And you're going to select your image. Press on select image and let's see if we can find some image. Let's take this one. And then I can add another image. Maybe that one. So it's very easy to create your slideshow. So just like that, I've added this simple little slideshow. So it takes you less than five minutes to edit the code and add your slideshow via this method. Via this method. But if you don't want to use this method, I'll show you guys how you can do it in another way. Guys, how this looks like. So this is the slideshow over here. And it's a very nice little section that you can add, especially to the top of your website. I would actually recommend to add it to the top instead of adding it to the bottom. But you can see over here, I have two images right now and you know obviously you can resize it and fit it in different grades if you want to now it's a simple and easy method and i'll show you guys the code again so the code is only two curly brackets a percentage section and section and slideshow and all you have to do to add a slideshow onto your shopify store now if you want more abilities to customize and you just want to 
do it in a different manner. You don't want to edit the code of your website. Or if this method does not work for you, you never know. Some Shopify teams have, have a, are different and some Shopify teams are very difficult to customize. So in that situation, what you're going to do is you're going to go to apps, the app section of Shopify. And once you press on your app section, you can search here for apps. So the far first one is smart BM. And then you have these two apps over here. So first is smart BN banner slider. And the second one is product image slider carousel. So you can integrate these two iterations onto your Shopify store for you to be able to add these image sliders. So you can choose any of these. And if you are still looking for more, you can just go on to your actual search button over here. And you can search for image slider. And you can see there are a few different options that you have in terms of galleries, but I do recommend Smart B and Products Image Slider Carousel. These ones are pretty simple and easy to use. All you have to do to add this is press on Add App. And once you press on Add App, they're going to integrate your application onto your Shopify store. So you're just going to click on Install App over here. And once you press on Install App, we're just waiting for your application. So you can see it just like that. Our banner slider has been added. Now what you're going to do is you're going to press on add slider and then you can choose the height and width. So let's say I only want a 100 by 100 pixels. And maybe I want this to be a vertical slider or maybe can be any slider you want, jump slideshow, or maybe a list slider. And then you can have your autoplay inter interval. So I want this to be at a thousand milliseconds. And then we have the fill mode. So I want it to be a contain. So I want to, to put all of the image in the actual center of the slide area. And then you can choose to allow paths if you want. Then you can press on save slider over here. And just like so. Okay, we need to just add a name. Put in test slider. And then it's saved. And all the information has been saved. Then you can press on next. So here you can upload any images. So I'm just going to click on add image. And then I'm going to select an image. So now I've opened up an image. And then I'm going to just enter some information. Then I'm going to press on save. And then I'm going to press on add image. And I'm going to choose another image. I have another image here. A dog picture that I uploaded. So just like that. Now I have added these two images. I'm going to press on next. And then I'm going to press on next again. And then you can see, you can see all of this embedded code. So now you're just going to follow these instructions on how to insert the script code into your Shopify store. Now, you can see over here that you still have to edit code. And that's going to be an essential part in most sliders. But for more customization and for more control over the kind of slider that you want, or the kind of aesthetic that you want your Shopify store to follow, it is better to use a application because if you're not familiar with writing complex code, then this kind of copy paste code is going to be a lot more helpful for you. So once you do that, 
all you have to do is publish your Shopify store with any of the code that you receive from any of the image sliders. So, so Shopify is a great application for you to get started with your e-commerce business. I do recommend it to most people because it allows you to do a lot of customization. And for people that are not familiar with web development and e-commerce store development, it keeps it as simple as well. So, and you're able to find what you need, where you should put it, without having, you know, a, a lot of extra strange features that you're never going to use. However, Shopify is not available for free. So the basic version for Shopify cost, you can see here, 13 for 13.43 euro per month. The Shopify for 39.44 euro per month and the advanced Shopify 142.82 euro per month. But the basic per the basic version is good enough for most people and it is also the most popular one. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.